Welcome to our devos where we are on week two of what's in a name. We're looking at the names of God, though. We're not looking at famous names or interesting names. And if you remember where we got this idea, uh, the time in which the Old Testament was written, names had a way bigger implication than what they have now. And so we are looking at why God allowed himself to be called certain things at specific times in history. And today, we're going to see God called something that he still is. Jesus himself refers to himself this way, and that is Jehovah Ra, shepherd, the implication of a shepherd. Jesus, in the Gospel of John, refers to himself as the good shepherd. So again, this shows you how much complexity is involved with understanding who God is and how much of his character is represented just in the embodiment of Jesus, all of his character, because Jesus is the embodiment and the fulfillment of the Godhead bodily. But Jehovah Ra means shepherd. Now, what's a shepherd do? A shepherd guides a shepherd protects. A shepherd pursues. If you think about shepherd, I, I um, did a ser- sermon one time. It wasn't a sermon. It was a, a study I did for Sunday school. I called it shepherdology. That was a study of shepherds. There's a lot of interesting things. You know, a shepherd will go after a sheep that keeps getting out of the fold. And sometimes if that sheep keeps going out of the fold, so often the shepherd will pick up the sheep and he'll break the sheep's leg, keeping him so close to the shepherd, the shepherd has to actually carry him on his back. And you're like, oh, that's so inhumane. Well, why does the shepherd do that? Well, the shepherd does that because it doesn't want the, the shepherd doesn't want the sheep to wander off the cliffs and die or to be taken out by a wolf or another animal, right? So when the shepherd does this, the shepherd then has this unbelievable connection and relationship with that sheep. That sheep will never leave him. He'll follow him everywhere from that point on. Now, it's weird to think of God this way, but Jesus himself referred to himself as the good shepherd. The good shepherd does that. He guides, he pursues. And sometimes if you're on the verge of destruction, the shepherd will allow a calamity to come into your life to keep you from getting off track because he's a good shepherd, because he loves. David, when he's thinking about his battles, we just did this whole David series, when he thinks about where he's been and he thinks about all of the different enemies that he's accumulated in being um, the king of Israel. In Psalm 23, verse one, this is one of the most famous passages of scripture quoted in the Bible. The Lord is my shepherd and I lack nothing. He's looking at God as that shepherd, that he's going to guide him, that he's going to pursue, that he's going to protect. And that's the same message for you. And if Jesus is the good shepherd, he's the shepherd of your soul. He guides you. He's walking with you. He's not telling you to go somewhere that he himself wouldn't go. You hear the voice of God because you are his child. You are his sheep and you know the voice of the shepherd. So don't be afraid to recognize that God wants to guide you in your life. You're not called to do this life alone. It's never been that way. We're called to depend on him wholly. And as a sheep depends on the shepherd's protection, so do we protect on the guiding providential hand of our God.